The other morning I looked at my wife and I said, you know what my favorite part of the day is? And she's like, waking up next to me? And I'm all like, e yeah. You know what my second favorite part of my day is? Coming home from work and finding a package from Automaton Toys. Thank you, Automaton Toys! And here we are with the G.I. Joe Cobra Sentry and Missile System, the SMS. Here's the box. As you can see, the box isn't really in super great shape. Uh, you know, some tape here and whatnot. Still very hard to find the box, period, so it's nice to have it. Um, actually, the Cobra SMS was a very rare toy. Uh, Sears exclusive, as you can see. Only available at Sears in the time, or at the time I should say, a very sought after G.I. Joe vehicle. Here's the back of the box here. Basically it comes with uh, a red Cobra Hiss tank and uh, three missiles and a back trailer. So, I mean, like I said the box isn't perfect but definitely nice to have because of just the rarity of this actual toy. I decided to do the review of the Cobra SMS just because, well, it's so rare that, you know, I had to show it since I had it here. Here's the his tank part of it. Just plain old standard his tank. Red in color, of course. You can see. Standard his tank. Then we have the back trailer here. As you can see, actually like a little string here that looks like it's supposed to be a wire, I guess. Close to the front of the trailer here. And the other part of the Cobra SMS is actually the missiles here. The XO3 heat seat missiles. There's three of them. So three missiles. A red his tank or a crimson his tank and a trailer. It's pretty much what comprises the SMS. You put the missiles on the back here on these little pegs. As you can see, put that in there. And it holds on there. It's pretty cool. You put all three on there actually. So once you actually have the missiles put on the SMS here, put them all on, you can see you get the three missiles there, you can take these, kind of these foot pads I guess, to hold it down, you can lift those up. So once you actually have the three missiles here put on, the SMS, you can take the, uh, the, uh, Little brackets here, little foot pads, I guess. Or kickstands, put them up as is. Bring the his tank back. As you can see, the hinge here. Put her in there. Make the connection. So here we have it all hooked up. As you can see. And it just rolls along. trailer up. There we go. So I mean overall it's just it's two pieces. A little missile launch command post and a his tank. Um, you can actually put figures on the uh, the pegs here and you can actually put a figure in here and put a figure in the cockpit in here. That's cool. Here's an example I have a, a newer Crimson Guard here um, from the new G.I. Joe 25th anniversary line. As you can see in the box art, he's actually the one driving this thing. So, 
You can put them in the back there to operate the guns. You can move the gun over here. You can open up the cockpit. You can put them inside. What's cool is even though the, the uh, actual Crimson Guard is the new version one, you can actually still fit in this thing. Which is pretty neat. So he can actually drive the hiss, just like he does in the box art. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice vehicle. I mean, there's nothing really much to it. I mean, other than the fact it was ex ex extremely rare to find because of it being a Sears exclusive, kind of like the uh, the uh, GI Joe. Uh, command center and all that stuff. Back in the old days of Sears when they had exclusives. So um, yeah, so basically that does it for this review of the SMS. And uh, until next time guys, take care. Later.